three years ago tonight, Tropical Storm Irene had finished battering parts of upstate New York, but the floodwaters that she left behind still were making life miserable for those in low-lying areas in the capital region. Craig Smith is in one of those spots tonight, just down the road from Modern Dam Junction in Pattersonville, where Irene still has a very fresh memory, Craig. Dory, tonight we spoke to two homeowners who survived this ordeal three years ago, and they're still seeing little reminders of the storm that temporarily forced them out of their homes. I believe that it's so far away, and it came crashing so fast. At Kathy McKeon's house, the Mohawk River came up to the top of her kitchen counter. She and her husband were still in the repair stage when we visited a year after the flood. She says they had a lot of help getting back to normal. From Tennessee, Georgia, Connecticut, Long Island, you know, anywhere in the area, Ohio, all these areas, they just showed up. Among the helpers were various people fixing the wiring and leaving reminders of the damage done. So we have a couple of outlets that are upside down, a few that don't work, but like I said, three years and, and from what it was to what it is. It seems like everything's coming Back. Christine Archambault's lingering reminder is a little mold that grows around her windows and a little water that still gets into the basement. One entire side of the foundation fell in and had to be replaced. My husband assumed, you know, it's not as bad as, you know, maybe they're exaggerating. <laughs> no. I think a lot of the men on the street were like that. We're not leaving. No, it's not that bad. But it was that bad. <laughs> she says the storm cost her and her family about $20,000. There was monetary and emotional pain to endure, but Archambault and Kathy McKeon remember they had their neighbors to help them through. See the good in people, and that's what you have to look for. You know, you yeah, don't look at the bad. when the worst things happen is yep. when all the best comes yep. out. Yep. Um, you know, so it's it's been a journey, that's for sure. Now that's just a glimpse of some of the recovery. Some people are recovering much more slowly. Some folks are really have reached the point where they've done little more than clear out the mold and the moisture. Now just down the road here in Rotterdam Junction, the estimated damage from Hurricane Irene was $4 million. We're live in Pattersonville, Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.